<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna and this is my YouTube channel. <clears throat> Clearly, as you are here. For today's video, we are in my basement because the lighting upstairs is terrible. So hopefully this is better. As the title says, we are baking again. Jenna's baking challenge, ingredients you never use, episode two. We also have this uh, nice little second camera action happening. I don't know how it's gonna be, but I figure since you can't see too much here, I might as well get another angle because I'm a professional YouTuber now. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm also sick right now and feel like shit. My nose itches. <laughs> we are baking a gluten-free banana bread. It's a healthy version, so clearly I have to make it a little bit unhealthy, so I'm adding chocolate chips. The oven just beeped upstairs as if we are ready and we haven't even started baking yet. Let me get the recipe up. Those cookies I made last time ended up terrible and I ended up throwing out all of them. First, we're gonna mash some overripe bananas. Ew. Oh, I got this recipe off of Pinterest. I will link it down below, as well as my Instagram, which you should follow. You should also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to me because as I said last time, I am putting out more videos. Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Jenska, uh, J-E-N-S-C-A. It's like my name. I think that's all. Let's mash up this banana, or it's two bananas. It says a cup of bananas, but I only had two, and so I bet that's fine. It's a really nice sound. Two tablespoons of almond milk. I, as last time, only have lactate milk, so this is what we're using. It wants two eggs, but I'm gonna use applesauce instead. It's a quarter cup of applesauce per one egg. And I wanna say that this is like a half a cup. Close enough. Oops. During finals, when I have a ton of studying to do, I bring like a jar of applesauce and then the Trader Joe's peanut butter pretzels to the library. Should I be bragging about that? A half cup of almond flour. <laughs> We're just gonna pull a little bit out. Maybe this is why my recipes don't turn out well. One and a fourth teaspoon of baking powder. A half teaspoon of baking soda. Three fourths teaspoon salt. Three fourths is a lot. Whisk like the professional baker that I am. Oh, I feel like absolute shit right now. Oh my God, I feel so sick. In like 15 hours, I'm getting on a plane and I better feel better by then. <sighs> I got a haircut. It gives me a little bit of a Sabrina the Teenage Witch mixed with a Reese Witherspoon Sweet Home Alabama vibe. So I try to like keep the flip up to a minimum, but yeah, I'm, I like it. I feel like spunky. Mm. And also like, I feel like a suburban mom who's picking up her kid from kindergarten. At least I'm a MILF. <laughs> Two thirds cup of sugar. I am using this brown sugar alternative, coconut sugar. And we're using that because it was one of our ingredients that I want to use up. One teaspoon of vanilla. I'm not adding walnuts. Anyone who likes walnuts in their banana bread. A third cup of butter. I just spool out. This is going great, guys. <sighs> I'm like getting really warm. Oh my God. 
I don't have a knife down here. I'm like stabbing it with a fork. <laughs> the recipe said that I was supposed to cream it with a mixer, but I just moved home and I have no idea where my hand mixer is. I feel so sick. My camera just ran out of storage, so I had to fix that. I'm gonna do some cool editing on this. That's what I'm gonna do. Insert cool edit, not sick me. I feel like absolute trash right now. Oh my gosh. Next on this recipe, I'm supposed to add one cup of gluten-free uh, all-purpose flour, which I do not have. So I'm just gonna go have these with tapioca flour and coconut flour. And of course, I'm not actually going to properly measure it because why would I? Um, Blend up these, and by blend, I mean try my best to mash this all together. Right now, I'm struggling with the butter because it's kind of chunky. The butter is clumpy. Let's add in the dry. Oh no, my camera's about to die. Literally, this is just a mess of a video. If my camera dies, we'll be back with the final product. Also have to add chocolate chips. Boom, bam, bam. Yeah. Also, oven's at 350. I don't know if I ever mentioned that, but here we are. Quality content. It's been like 20 minutes since I put the banana bread in the oven. Let's check on it. I added chocolate chips to it and greased the pan and then put it in. Professional. It's not done yet. We are gonna put her back in the oven. Let's put her in for 10. I'm tasting it. I think it tastes really good, actually. Say hi. Can you say please subscribe? Please subscribe to get more videos. Okay, we'll be back.